2001. Oh, yeah. 2003. Oh, Capcom. Oh, oh, Capcom. These are from the old days. <laughs> the Dark Ages of Capcom. No, no, we're in the Dark Ages right now. <laughs> kind of figures. Nothing they've released is a bit as good as Gregory <laughs> Horror Show. <laughs> this was like from the time when they were making a lot of survival horror because of like, they were, they were making Resident Evil 4 and it's like so many failed builds. Oh dear. <laughs> so there was like Haunting Ground and all this stuff. This is the beta code for Resident <laughs> Evil 4. I don't wow. know whether this one is, but it was at a time when they released loads and loads of survival horror games. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, welcome to Let's Play Gregory Horror Show. Sam couldn't be with us this week, so we're collaborating. This is uh, Adam. Say uh, hi. Hello, my name's Adam. I'm from Adam Duffield. It's nice to meet you. Yes, oh. be nice to him. No, <laughs> that's, that is the worst intro. God. God. <laughs> okay, alright. We here at Gregory okay. Horror Show. Right, give me a try. <laughs> yes. We're not 100 in Gregory Horror oh, Show. You gotta love the stock scream effect. <laughs> that is the best scream effect ever. <laughs> anyway, we'll put a link to his channel in the description. He's doing some Let's Plays at the moment. Yeah, um, I'm just doing Catherine and Sonic 06. They're okay. They're okay games, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we're here for Gregory Horror Show. The best game ever. <laughs> yes. I found myself walking through a deep forest in a thick fog. How did I get here? I should have been home by now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well then, I'll get a room ready for you. What should our name be? Uh, Adam's Dive. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking over. <laughs> well, my okay. plans to take over your channel. Um... <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> Um, I think I already got one down as Boris. Yeah, oh yeah, Boris was a good one. Uh, if it asks me if I can replace it, then I'll go with that. Boris is the greatest name ever. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we'll show female in a separate thing. Yeah, good idea. Because all right differences this aren't way, if oh, you yes. don't mind, I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way, or oh, uh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> Just make it as suspect as possible. <laughs> this probably is the cheesiest mouse partner game ever made. <laughs> yes! There's nothing wrong with that. And so I fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. I love this guy. Best character ever. Forget about him. Huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? Don't be embarrassed. You can tell me. What? You can't yes. get back. Hmm. Okay. The point, actually. How's about I make you a little deal? See. My job is removing lost souls from the living world. And that hotel is full of lost souls, but needs to be removed right away. Hoo if you go in and find them, I'll show you the way back. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? When you find them, Come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later, pal. Who are rocking out with Swedish death? <laughs> it's clearly Swedish. Let's give him an American accent. 
<laughs> there's, there's just nothing unlikable about that character. He is fantastic. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Okay, and we're in the room. Let me just right. get used to the controls. Okay, so that's Nock. Nock kind of doubles as investigating. The bed is cold and featureless. Whoop de doo. <laughs> anyway, we are now playing as this little kid. Death gave us a body somehow, so I don't honestly have a clue what we looked like until we came into the hotel. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm so, so hungry. I'll try not to skip dialogue by accident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess my first reaction would be to uh, spy on people. <laughs> you. You're the one who moved in next door yesterday, aren't you? I need to talk to you. Yes. So go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. To get to the lobby, just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. Well, we could do that, but first let's investigate over here. Oh, okay. All the doors are locked in the hotel apart from Catherine's room. Oh! Catherine oh, is yeah. not in at the moment, though you can deduce a little bit about her by looking around here. Slightly warm, so she is in the hotel at this point. And if I just look down... Oh! <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Do you have blood? This has got foreshadowing for things to come. Indeed. Fun fact, and I am literally not making this up, in some areas of the UK if you give blood it makes the Mario noise when you hit a block once you've filled up the pint. Oh, what? I am serious, it's just like once you've filled up the blood bag to let people know it goes bling da bing bling bling <laughs> and it is the exact video game noise. What is it, to like lure children in and take them? I don't know, it's like, it's gamifying blood giving. Level up. <laughs> I've... I wish I was making that up, but that is incredible. Oh, I'm awesome. glad you're not. That sounds <laughs> brilliant. It's incredible. Anyway, let's uh, talk to Gregory. The key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. A most dangerous cat indeed. He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then. One stormy night, long ago... Let me guess, thunderclap? Yes! So <laughs> everything shut. Eyes, mouth, ears. Oh, <laughs> what a horrible thing. Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Uh -huh. Well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. <laughs> Over. You can't have this key. Do not take that key. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from the key now. <laughs> yep. Well, it's still the tutorial, which is why they've locked off the entirety of this hotel so far. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense though. It's like it's it's just past midnight. <laughs> Can we talk to Gregory? Where are you going? Hello? And we've got oh, our map. <laughs> oh dear, he misplaced the maps. Why? Oh no, you inconvenienced me a bit. <laughs> How dare you? Indeed. Anyway, um, that's really not much of a problem at the moment, though, because we're only going to be exploring the ground floor for now. Yeah. I think select is the map screen, and this actually shows people's locations in real time. That's a very Resident Evil style map, the way the dog is not. So that's very useful because we know that Gregory is currently out of the room, so we're free to go behind the counter. The best thing of all is um, the character we're about to meet essentially will just go roaming the halls after this point and Gregory will seem pretty unconcerned, <laughs> Okay, considering all the great lengths went to... Continuity! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
Well, the thing is, this is based upon actual anime, and for the oh. most part, for the cutscenes, they did just take footage from it and redub it to fit it in with the game. Oh, yeah. So, you do get a couple of actual continuity errors later on, where you see footage of the hotel and it doesn't match the way you've been playing it. I suppose that's one way to cut the cards. <laughs> Yeah, this game kind of received mixed reviews, but it actually gets insanely good as it goes along. Sweet. I'm so hungry. Is it dinner yet? We meet at last. My name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scared? Yeah. Neko means cat. Oh, <laughs> clever. I don't need your sympathy. Are you ready, Boris? <laughs> God, I called him that. <laughs> oh, dear. The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. So, you have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Are you ready? And go ahead and try peeking into my room. So the bulk of this game is essentially spying on people through the doors, trying not to get caught, and finding out everyone's weak points so you can steal it's their silly. souls. It's a bit like a stealth no, act survival kind of game. It is very much a stealth game. Sweet. In that you just simply have to avoid absolutely everyone in the hotel <laughs> most of the time. My weak point is food. Okay, thanks for letting me know. On your own what my favorite food is. Well, time to go murmur to myself. <laughs> I'm hungry. Kind of switches from the voice actor doing cat noises to actual cat noises. <laughs> well, they can only afford oh so much dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Mobile phone! <laughs> nope. Try again. I think we can pick just about every option and we can just do it through process of elimination if you want yeah. to do it that way. But it's very clearly it's chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> and not too cold. Chocolate. That's it. Here, I'll give you this. The music of hope. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about? I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Here, you can have it. I don't need it. Level up! <laughs> so will it get! <laughs> There are twelve souls in all you must find. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one. There's a lot about this. Yeah. Okay, um, rather than going through these options, because it takes a very long time to go through these, yeah. basically lost souls are people who end up in Gregory House, they've drifted away from life. The guests are people who have become permanent residents of the hotel, they have all gone insane. Why the guests carrying souls around? Mm, that will be slowly explained later on. It's not actually their souls, it's souls in bottles that they carry around with them. They are very protective of these souls, so you can't exactly just walk up to them and get them. As for the hotel, that will be very slowly revealed. So, yeah. how are you Sorted. planning to deliver those souls back to death? Swedish death. Swedish death. Meet him in your dreams. 
In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. And with that, we are kicked back into our room. <laughs> I think I should call, call it, it a day. day. Okay, we're going to stop there for this part, and that's the first soul down. That's Neko Zombie.